Mates, Mates from My Life Mates, thank you so much for stopping by. I am here to do a flip through of my completed journal. Um, I have several Journal With Me videos that are from this notebook and I will post, if I remember to, I will post the link down below. So I'm using this Traveler's Notebook from Sojourner and I believe it's called the Wraparound Traveler. I did an unboxing of this beautiful traveler's notebook, so I will post it down below as well. Um, I, to be honest with you though, I haven't really used these pockets and I wonder, I don't know, I just haven't used them because I'm, I've kept, for the most part, I've kept this traveler's notebook at home and uh, I usually just have my supplies here. Before I forget, I have a like a non-chatty version of this. If you just want to get right into the nitty-gritty and you just want to get right into the notebook, then I have the non-chatty version. Um, uh, and I will post it down below if you're just interested in that. But yeah, I haven't really used this pocket. Um, I suppose I can put in uh, like pens and things like that. I don't know if they'll hold my cell phone. Actually, it might. It's pr pretty big. Uh, but anyways, I thought I would share with you what it looks like now, now that I've had it for several months. She has this new trifold and I've been really holding off. I, I don't think I'm going to get it yet. Um, I need to sell some planners first. I, I need to do a major de-stash. So anyways, let's get right into it. I'm using this lovely handmade notebook from Brie. Um, I purchased this from Documented Journey on Etsy and of course she has a YouTube channel as well and I will leave the links down below. It's a beautiful, um, her artwork is right there and I think this is in the B6 slim size and the Strathmore mixed media paper. All right, so it starts from uh, end of May to end of July. Um, this notebook, like I said in my previous videos, it was just really inviting and I was almost like I was working in it almost daily. Um, but yeah, I started it off with an, I guess like a more of a negative type of journal entry, which is totally fine. I don't want to just include happy moments in my journals. I need, I, I want to be honest with myself and share the ups and downs. This was particularly one of the harder days and just trying to remember to take more photos of myself. Uh, my son was not having it that Monday. I think it was a Monday, yeah. And he was not having it and he did not want to go to the daycare and yeah, it was just one of those tough days. So there's, I started out with that. Um, yeah, just trying to take photos using some ephemera bits. I already, I took this out, but there was, there was a letter here. Um, so I have also been keeping my happy mail. Uh, pen pal letters in here as well. I took it out because I didn't want um, I didn't want to share too much information like if it was, something was written on there. This one, this letter is folded so it's okay. Uh, but yeah, I used the collage bits from Courtney Diaz, Little Raven Ink. Um, and these tabs are from her as well, from Courtney. These watercolor letters are from Little Rainbow Moon, I believe, from Etsy. And this is a letter my uh, neighbor wrote to me. So I just have it tucked in there. Uh, more of Courtney's uh, collage elements. And in this journal in particular, I really enjoyed like uh, splashing watercolor and then once it dried, I enjoyed drawing these like uneven lines and just journaling on top of those uneven lines. It was really, really fun. And I used uh, the friction markers for that because the markers aren't too vibrant. And yeah, I've been enjoying that. Um, you won't always be a priority to others, and that's why you have to be a priority to yourself. Learn to respect yourself, take care of yourself, and become your own support system. Your needs matter. Start meeting them. Don't wait on others to choose you. Choose yourself today. That's a really good quote. I don't know where I found that, but that's a really good quote. It's really important. Uh, yeah, just having one more of those like uneven lines as well. And of course, uh, Courtney's collage elements really helps. Uh, this is also, I think, one of the ma ma uh, Monday mantras that she has. She, um, on her Patreon, 
she uploads these every Monday. Uh, just some happy mail. I haven't um, journaled in there, and I don't know, I just I haven't felt like it, I suppose. And that's okay, just collaging some papers there. Just some journaling. I need to remember to take more, like, black and white photos. Like, this is so, so cute. Yeah. <laughs> just some tip-ins here and there. Once again, um, I need to print out more of these tabs. They're so pretty. I, I tried the Hoboni's Challenge for July, and I made it up to day nine. <laughs> Um, yeah, I just really enjoyed using just a simple brush tip marker, uh, brush tip pen, um, and did those, I sub, um, those uh, vegetables, I think it was, for July. And uh, happy mail postcard. My neighbor drew Ampamma. She drew, she has these um, circle stickers from, I guess, the dollar shop or something, and she drew a whole bunch of these, and she was just handing them out to the kids and the neighbors. So my kids again. Sometimes I just want to paste things on the page and not necessarily write anything, and that's I, th I think that's totally okay too. Um, just looking at these photos really makes me happy. Um, you don't necessarily have to write in order for it to be a journal. Like in this page spread, I just journaled just a small little snippet there. Even if you didn't journal at all, I think it's okay. As long as you're having fun and you know, you're really releasing stress in a way and having these photos out in this notebook instead of in a box is I think a lot nicer than that. You know, just keeping all your photos in a small little box. Um, this is from Brie, Documented Journey this uh, sticker and this huge die cut um, I thought it was really cute and I didn't know how to use it I, I wanted I wanted it in my journal but I wasn't sure how I wanted to do it so I just kind of glued the bottom there then I have a couple of these like notes from neighbors and things so I just kind of stuck them in there uh, this is more of like personal ish writing uh, Oh, I think this is all, this is also from Brie as well, Documented Journey. This summer was so hot, and it's still hot, um, but today is actually not too bad. But I'm still not used to this, the summer heat and the humidity of Japan. Um, these are just some postcards that I've just tipped in. My daughter's birthday, and I'm trying to use up these like uh, clear acetate die cuts is that what you call them I don't know um, so I'm trying my best to include them here and there in my journal my daughter loves to walk she loves to take off her shoes <laughs> uh, if she could she would even take off her socks but because of the asphalt is so hot in the summer I was I was always <laughs> telling her to put her shoes back on she also loves to roll around on the ground and I don't know where she gets it from but it's so funny she's so carefree this is uh, this spread I actually did a journal with me. I just used some simple packaging, um, yeah, just some simple packaging to stick things in my journal. This letter is from my neighbor, and I think the one below is also as well. And it's just so cute. And I'm trying to use up these um, quote stickers. Yeah, and then this one is just. I think I used uh, there were some washi samples on here, and I wanted it. To to, I wanted to use it in my journal somehow, so I just kind of stuck it in there. You can still see my daughter. This one I believe I also did a journal with me on YouTube, so I will link all those down below. Um, she likes to hang, hang on the rail there. My son, we had sushi. They don't eat sushi, but <laughs> we had sushi. Uh, I think this is a tip in, right? Yeah, tip in here. These are some old photos. Like she's, well, this is like one of those Facebook reminders that you know you took this photo two years ago. Oh, I don't know if you can see this. It's probably really unclear, but the food, the hospital food. Oh, you probably can't see that. It's amazing here in Japan. Um, it's, I, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but they give you so much food and it's very very healthy and it's very um, they make sure all the calories 
are um, like within you know the prop appropriate range. Think about all the nutrients, especially after giving birth. Um, you know the mother goes through mother's bodies go through so much um, that you know you, you need to replenish your body and uh, it's the food here is just amazing. I went I had a, I went to a different hospital for my son and for both hospitals the food was just amazing. You probably can't see that it's too dark but. Just even like small little memories like that. I like try and try and use those photos up in my journals. This is a tip in. Oh, this spread I also believe I did in uh, like I, I did a journal with me session on YouTube as well. I really like these like vellum pieces. They're just really like they they're kind of see through, uh, but they add some element like texture to the page and more of the mon Monday mantras I don't know why I can't say that there's the jumping this is a this was a black and white um, collage bit like little monster nook dweller from Courtney and then I, I don't know why I don't spend my time coloring as much I just feel like I, I don't I don't give myself time to color, um, but I was able to do this one and I had so much fun so I th hope I can do more of them. She includes black and white um, nook dwellers like this in her collage bits on Patreon so I have to remind myself to print those out more and just have fun, you know, just coloring uh, while watching TV or something. <laughs> Oh, I think I, so this is like the bigger version I just I just kind of caught that I reused my photos oh yeah there's that one there this is a bigger version of the same photo this is during a travelers uh, Tokyo tiny travelers meetup um, Jibun Techo. I have to do a video of what I want or what I'm going to use for 2019 or maybe like a planner setup video or maybe like a planner setup planner update video I suppose for fall 2018 I'm still struggling I don't know what I'm gonna do but and then that's the end of July uh, I lost my grandmother and yeah anyways that's it uh, that's the completed sorry that's the completed travelers uh, notebook journal and uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this video like I said I will try my best to leave all the links down below to the people that I've mentioned um, I will also leave the links down below to the journal with me uh, sessions or journal with me videos that I've done and yeah if you have any questions let me know my next journal I'm already working in is a standard traveler's notebook let me get it right for you So right now I'm working in the, I'm going back to the original brown traveler's notebook. This is the original one that's uh, still considered the, from the Midori brand before they turned into traveler's company. Um, can't really see the stamping there that I've done, but I am in my standard regular size traveler's notebook. And this notebook insert was created by my decorated mess on Instagram and it's a beautiful insert. Uh, let's see if I can show you something. Um, the insert that she made, I asked, actually asked her if she's making them to sell them but unfortunately not. Um, but she makes them with like various types of papers and it's beautiful. Um, I'm trying to journal my summer and like see so you can see the different papers that she's included and it's just I haven't journaled yet um, but if you're interested in watching me work in this traveler's notebook insert leave a thumbs up or leave a comment down below I haven't filmed anything because I don't know I don't know I just feel like my journal with me sessions are repetitive or I don't know I, I just haven't filmed them um, but if you are interested, let me know and I will try my best to do so. Uh, like this one is so cool. I ended up 
stapling it here so that I can include the tickets for the Tomika event, which is like um, Hot Wheels, I guess you can say. In North America, we had Hot Wheels. Um, but I stapled these two pages together so that I can stick them in here and you can still see them. Then I have my photo here with my son. Then on the back side, there's just the receipts. See, there's various types of papers. So what I did here was I just uh, stapled three <laughs> three pages together and it acts as a folder on both sides. But yeah, if you're interested and you want me to do more like journal with me videos in the Traveler's Notebook, just let me know. I, I think that I'm, I'm going to continue rambling if you don't mind. Um, I think for next year I'm going to let go of this insert, this weekly insert. It's fun, but... I don't know. I think I'm going to let go of it and just try and concentrate my energy on uh, the Avec Hobonichi Techo in the A5 size and of course my junk journal. I love my junk journal. I think for my junk journal I want to include like Happy Mail things um, because now this is finished. My, you know, I'm doing journaling in this Traveler's Notebook insert but I still use my junk journal because it is wider and I like to include my happy mail in there. So I don't know, but I think I'm pretty sure I'm going to get rid of this uh, weekly. I mean, it's fun just jotting down little snippets here and there, but anyways, <laughs> that's just my thought. So yeah, I'm back in my standard regular size traveler's notebook for, I guess, uh, the journaling part of it. I felt like more creative in this one though. I don't know if it's the sizing, the B6 size, and maybe I'll revisit it in the future once this one is finished. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to try my best. It's almost 20 minutes now, well, 17 minutes now, so I'm going to leave it as is. If you just want to list, if you just want to see um, the inside of this journal, I will leave a link down below to the journal flip through without me talking. <laughs> I know there's people that enjoy the talking and then that don't enjoy it, that don't enjoy the talking. So I'll leave both uh, videos up. All right, I will see you soon. Thank you so much for watching, and yes, I'll see you then. <laughs> bye bye.